Hi, and welcome back. A while back, we did a video, potato cheese pierogies. And in that video, we covered the making of pierogi dough and potato cheese filling. In this video, we're going to do a cherry filling, a dessert pierogi. Now, this will yield about 20 to 25 pierogies. For step-by-step -step on how to make the pierogi dough, please refer to the video potato cheese pierogies. So now let's get going. To make cherry pierogies, you will need one cup of cherries and two tablespoons of sugar. Now here I'm using frozen cherries. Currently, fresh cherries are not available, but frozen cherries work just as well. You just wanna make sure you drain them of all the juices, which I have done. So to the cherries, I'm going to add two tablespoons of sugar and I'm going to coat them really well. They look delicious. Now you could adjust the amount of sugar depending on the cherries. Next, you're going to take about two cherries and place them right in the middle of pierogi dough. Next, using a pastry brush, you're going to dip it in water. Now this is just room temperature water. Then you're going to get rid of the excess water. And then you're going to go around the pierogi dough, around the edges, just like that. You want to make sure that we cover the edges so the pierogies will get sealed up well. Now next, you're going to pick up the pierogi, fold the dough in half, and press, you're going to press the filling in, dip your hands in the flour, and you're going to seal the edges, just like that. You're going to pinch around, making sure you dip Fingers. There we go. Let's do another one. Pick up the pierogi, dip your hands, then seal both sides just like that. Pinch. There. Okay, let's do that again. So seal both sides. Now, using a fork dipped in flour, just go around and press there. So let's do this one again. There. And using the fork. Don't they look beautiful? Well, I'm going to finish making the rest of the pierogies and I'll meet you at the stove. To boil the pierogies, you will need a large pot filled with unsalted water. You can bring the water to boil and then drop the pierogies in one by one. Then you're going to stir so the pierogies don't stick to the bottom. And we're going to let them boil. Once the pierogies rise to the surface, you're going to let them boil for about a minute. Then using a slotted spoon, you're going to lift the pierogies out. We're going to place the pierogi in a strainer to get rid of the excess water. Then we're going to place the pierogies on either a wax paper or a parchment paper and let them cool. So here they are, cherry pierogies. 
cherry pierogies are dessert pierogies and they are complemented by either sweet cream or sweet sour cream. To make the sweet cream or sweet sour cream, for every quarter cup of cream, add one teaspoon of fine sugar and a whisk. Well, I hope this video has inspired you to try the cherry pierogies. Thank you for tuning in.